Hi everyone, you alright? Yeah, went out again today, didn't, I forgot to film it, Um. yeah, Blackburn, ooh, my area, Um. Baswell, absolutely, I don't know if the council had been up, but it was slightly more tidier yesterday. Later on in the afternoon when I went and had a look. But uh, I had a walk round and, you know, what I'm really thinking now is that Blackburn's becoming a dirty old town. And I've been going around some of the areas and a lot of them are basically dumping their rubbish, you know, and uh, more and more and more rubbish is being dumped. Uh, in certain areas and it's not looking good um, I don't know what Blackburn Council's planning to do but they're going to have to do something about it um, they've been spending money like nobody's business trying to um, you know get them to clean up a little bit more um, to be truthful I think it's time for some naming and shaming um, and all that um, I've, I've just got the uh, Reddit on about Pro revenge and stuff like that. So sorry about that noise in the background. Um, yeah, and I sat there, sat there later on today, downloading the new updates for Windows Ten. Yeah, they've been doing of late. They've been pushing two updates a week now. Um, of which. I have which I've done and installed I'm just going to have to wait till Tuesday now and see if they push out another update and then most probably Thursday Friday have another look see if they push up on anything else um, Blackpool all the Blackpool vloggers are busy bees at the moment um, Helen's loud and proud. They did, as I said the other day, they did the chip shop Fridays. Chip shop Friday. Um, I've been going round and having a look at some of the other videos. Like a like a is uh, doing videos again now. So, how long she'll be doing that for? I don't know. PT blogs. Vlogs, sorry. Um, he's been putting out some absolutely brilliant content. Uh, these people really need supporting, you know. And so's, so's Beyond the Edge. Uh, his last video was absolutely brilliant once again. Um, that that channel really needs supporting a lot more so if you get if you get the chance go go to his channel like and subscribe and uh i think he's i think he's got 1.33k subscribers so far but we need but we need folks to pe you lot out there to go to his Go to his channel, like and subscribe to his channel because the videos videos on there are absolutely 
outstanding. The footage, the footage is, I can't, um, I can't really uh, describe it really because it's it's very well put together. It's it it's coming. It's I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. It looks very professionally done, and he's took the time and effort uh, in uh, doing it. So it's Blackpool bike, old Blackpool biker. He does uh, videos, and uh, they're also um, he's also doing um, blogs every now and again. And I'm gonna I'm I'm going to be hoping that when Blackpool does open, um, I want to see I want to see more blogs really, you know. And everybody out there, everybody out there, please, please, please support those content creators because they really, really need the views. And every like, every like, every every like, every subscribe is absolutely essential to these to these creators because the more people who more people who subscribe to the channels, the more likes they get. You know, they get noticed. They really do get noticed, and YouTube, YouTube, really um, notices that through the analytics that they get and the traffic that they get. So, yeah. Absolutely love those channels. They're doing a hell of a lot for Blackpool. Um, the main thing is mainstream media isn't covering it as much as they should be doing. And the developments in Blackpool hopefully are going to bring bring more jobs to the town yes the major problem with that is that where they're counting on the tourist tourists coming to the coming to the town and you you can't really do that you just cannot because A certain place in the United States is basically learning that lesson now. Um, I'm talking Las Vegas. They are basically um, getting a little bit of a backlash at this moment in time. Yes, it was okay of... <coughs> excuse me. It was good of the St. Patrick's weekend and stuff like that. There are people coming in from out of state and all that sort of stuff. The, the COVID numbers will just basically rock it there for a little while and then it'll just go back down again. Um, and uh, But there'll be... A, there'll, I reckon there'll be a third wave there. Um, unfortunately, and uh, Europe is having that sort of thing now. So yeah, um, Blackpool is going to get a lot of investment, but is it going to be the right investment? Because it's like what I said. Las Vegas did. Did um, they got rid of the local? Because if you live in Vegas, you don't pay you don't pay a local tax. Uh, the basically their tax is uh, revenue from hotel rooms and people gambling in the casinos. That's how they 
get their revenue. But relying on that, relying on that, is actually problematic. Because if you don't get them visitors, you don't get the income. And that's when services start to suffer. And Blackpool, in at this moment in time, is learning that. And I'm just hoping these new developments bring the tourists in. Because there's going to be a lot of tourists that that can't go anywhere. They just can't go anywhere. Because they haven't had their second shot for the uh, COVID yet. And in some cases, it's going to be three, three, four, three, four months before they get the second jab. And then once they've had that, once they've had that, you've got to have a passport, you know, to set, you know, a vaccination passport to say that you've had your jabs. It's the same with the ones in, people in Scotland, right? People are hitting, hitting the sites for the hotels in Blackpool, especially for Scot, Scots Fortnite, you know? But there are like questions about Scottish Fortnite. Is that, is Nicola Sturgeon going to let them out? Uh, that is the question, though. Um, it's like Wales as well. Police are actually, police are actually patrolling the border between England and Wales and also uh, the Scottish border as well so that people don't cross into the into the two into into the two countries sort of thing and they just do not want you to they just do not want you to want the people to go anywhere uh, it's like in my other video what I suggested that if you can't you can't go to uh, Blackpool you've got a nice little you've got a nice little amusement park park in Scotland it's called M&D's you know uh, show your local park a bit of support you know if you can't if you can't get over the border, you know, and you know, because there's plenty to do there for you know for for, for people, and M and D's and M and D's needs the money, money because their park has been um, has had horrific things happen to it. You know, they had the coaster accident and all that, but. The new owners of M and M and D's really need the visitors to come in and support the park, and I think really it's up to Scots to do that. You know, um, instead of just coming and you know, you really need to support your lo your local theme parks because, like, I, th I think there's only two. I think there's only two major uh, theme parks in Scotland and you know that's the way it goes sometimes <clears throat> well I haven't been and the other thing is there's a new um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me I'm getting a bit dry throat um, a lot of there's a new uh, amusement park being built on, built out just outside London. But is it going to happen? Um, all I've seen is just drawings, and that's about it. <coughs> there were two guys on YouTube talking about it, and I can't. I can't see any new videos that they've, these two guys have put up. I can't remember. I can't for the life of me um, who they were. 
But their channel seems to have disappeared, you know. And uh, I don't know what's happening about that. And, yeah, just on the outskirts of London. I'm trying to remember where, what, where it is anyway. Um, yeah, and I think Paramount I... Uh, supposed to be putting some money in in it as well but nobody's saying much about it uh is it just is it just artwork is it just you know drawings of something that they're that they're you know which they're wanting to build the but you know don't have the funds to do it but uh we'll see what happens um yeah so we're just so I'll most probably put something else up hopefully tomorrow but I can't really promise anything Um, so I'll try my best and uh, see how I feel tomorrow Um, and you know we're going to I'm going to have to uh, give myself a kick up the backside. Um, what was what else was there? Yeah, it's like I said earlier before in my video. Blackburn's turning into a dirty old town. The um, other thing I wanted to cover. Is that the planning department? Well, they're a bit backward, and what we should be doing is what the council should be doing is copying the copying the Manchester model, and. Blackburn has basically acknowledged that the way that it is building houses um, they admit the Blackburn Planning Committee um, basically have said the land that's all around that's in Blackburn and around Blackburn for building projects for building project, housing projects that is, is that Blackburn has only got seven years of uh, capacity for that for that land for building homes. So Blackburn with Darwin Council is going to have to get their finger out and uh, and decide what they're going to do because. Salford, Manchester, Bolton and Preston have basically turned round and said that they're going to go the high rise strategy the high rise strategy as what Manchester's doing. Manchester Salford Manchester Salford Bolton areas. Um because they're, they're basically looking at how much land they can actually build build housing onto. And they've come to the conclusion that... Um, they've come to the conclusion that the numbers of housing that they're going to need is going to be too much demand for the amount of land that they've got to free up um and put how put housing on yes there are loads of green green places in uh, manchester and salford and other places but the thing is you've if you've got green space around you you've got to preserve it you really do have to preserve it, and only only way that 
that you can actually pres- preserve greenery around you is to build upwards. You know, that is the only way to do it. You know, that's the only way. And some people on the council at Blackburn, well, basically, they they got, you know, they got their head stuck up the bum. You know what I mean? You know, if you want to be a city, you've got to have high-rise buildings. And Blackburn keeps saying it has aspirations to be one. In a, in a roundabout way, it is one. But, you know, you don't have the population here for that. You know, to actually declare yourself a city. You know, it's just one of those, you know, it's one of those things. And the way it's going, I've been round Manchester. It's a lot bloody cleaner than what Blackburn is. You know? Some some parts of the of uh, Manchester are dumpster fires, you know, um, but you know they're getting on with it. They're getting it cleaned up, getting it ready for redevelopment. So come on, Blackburn with Darwin, get your finger from out your ass and uh, you know get some high rises put up. Because modern high-rises, and I mean modern high-rises, not like the Grenfell, not the, like the Grenfell Tower, that was that was uh, a nineteen sixties, nineteen sixties, nineteen seventies carbuncle, and then put put uh, cladding on it, and it caught fire. Well, you don't want that, you know. If you build a build a, a pro- property properly you know, a high-rise properly, you know, you won't have problems like that, you know, you just won't, because uh, that was basically crappy design on the builder's part, you know, the cladding, you know, the cladding and everything, and uh, if you just let, if they'd just left the shell, if they'd just left the outside as it was, you know, they wouldn't have had any problems. So, you know, if they hadn't clad the place and and they turned around and put the sprinkler system in and everything, they wouldn't have had all that mess. Yeah, so I'm going to bugger off now. I've done, I've had my rant and, uh, and that. So I just hope uh, everybody's, uh, you know, okay. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go now. But before I do go, please like and subscribe to the channel, and uh, you know, your comments your comments do count on this channel, and you know, I'll be happy to hear from what you know. I'll be happy to hear your co- you know get your comments read because I use a machine to. Um, read your comments so you know it's nice to get them so I'm going to bugger off now and uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll see how things go and uh, maybe another video so bye for now 3, 2, 1 click